Looking forward to this. I want to buy something antique. I want to do something crazy. Buy something nuts. What are you thinking? Vintage dildo. <laughs> vintage sex toys. I love it. I want to find vintage sex toys. Here? Antique texture, <laughs> sex shows. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> What, what, what is his name then? Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet? Yeah. Is Bob Dylan you're playing? A young Bob Dylan, yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. yeah. Young Bo Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is an absolute... And, uh, but... It's a f legend, mate. <laughs> you just didn't yeah, yeah, no, I was thinking, I was looking at this woman. Have you met him? Are you going to meet him? I haven't met him. Uh... Timothy is wearing a girl's watch. Bit random. Listen. Lovely on girls, right? But it's a girl's watch. A girl's watch with a really big history, to be fair. The watch is named after Jean Tussaud. She was like the creative director of Cartier Jewelry House Jewelry and Watches. She was named La Panthère, and that's where the, the watch is named. This is the Cartier Panthère. I think it's cool. It's like he's being unique. He's being himself. I, I appreciate that, but I also find it pretty f***ing gay. <laughs> <laughs> is he gay? No. Fair enough. He was in a gay film, huh? Which gay film? Call Me By Your Name. Call Me By Your Name, baby. Has sex with a peach. Is what? Sex with a peach. A peach? Yeah. The fruit. Oh, he comes in a fruit. So then he's gay. Naughty, naughty. Timothy, there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Just joking, right? I would wear the pump there. Ah, uh, mate, I'll bring you a bag of peaches tomorrow. Or iced tea peach. You can stick your knob in that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you put your knob in. It is about the watch. <laughs> Do you think he's played by Cartier, by the way? It's yes. hard to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. How about Hamburg? Oh, yeah, I got Pretty Woman big time in Hamburg. <laughs> yeah? At a, um, at a dealer. What happened? I can't even remember the watch. To be honest now, kind of snuck out of the venue, went to this little shop, and I had seen something on their website. I just wanted to see it. I believe it was Mother of Pearl Daytona. They wouldn't sell it to me. They wouldn't sell it to me because the guy was like, do you have your passport? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the f do I need my passport for? He was like, well, he's got to verify who you are. I was like, well, who needs to verify? I'm buying a watch here, mate. What the f is wrong? I was like, how about this? Master card. Yeah. 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 Does not work. Does that Amex does not work. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. I had my my Amex. Yeah. I had my driver's license from the states. Shouldn't have even had to show him that, to be no. honest. No. But I was like, okay, showed it to him. Comes back, can't do it. Can't tell. Why? And I, who knows? Got it like money, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're right, Nico. While you're going for your fucking swim like a walrus out there. The funny bit is he tried to manhandle me, right? But he has these. He wrist, right? He doesn't have any strength. He, he tried to manhandle you? He tried to manhandle me. I'm at the watch show, I'm about to ice out some are watches. You, are you trying to be yeah, more another I'm watch game or what? Right, listen, I'm icing out some watches. I got my business style. You know, you got your business style. And I'm going to teach you a lesson. Give me your watch, bro. Give me the watch. Give me the watch, you jerk. We're going to ice it out. Right here, right now. All the holes in the world are going to do Hublot employee, do you hate me or what? I actually like your videos a lot. Ah, yes! <laughs> yes! So, I mean, I mean, so your points are slightly valid at some points. Yeah. Some, 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 sometimes they're off. But either way, it, it makes good content. It makes good content. And, and we sell a ton of a lot of watches, so we, we don't care. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Will I be kicked out? Uh, let, let's give it a go. Let's see. It. Let's, let's see. What see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, he's laughing. He's laughing. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Just one for you, Nico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Richard Mill. Oh, uh, sorry. You know what? In a really, really weird way. Don't say it. Don't I'm not say saying it. it. Don't say it. Fair. To be fair, though. Their stand is beautiful. Their stand is cool. That stand is mega. I'll give you that. What a beautiful stand. Thank you. That's <laughs> mega. Unreal. It's dog sh <laughs> I would wear that. Can I leave, please? I feel very uncomfortable. Listen, their, their stand is mega. But I, I, I understand why they keep it dark. Because then you <laughs> yeah. don't properly see it. Because it's Dog sh anyway. I don't know what they've released. They're doing a lot with these gorilla yeah, things now. I don't know what's going on. And then look at that thing there. Yeah. Even from 50 yards away, it's f***ing horrendous looking. That <laughs> yellow, red, blue. You know what the funny bit is? This is actually the far end corner of the entire show. There's only a bar. There's nothing there, really. This is basically the sh area. Yeah. This is where they put hublot. But if you seen a kid running about with that back home, you'd think, oh, it's just a toy watch. <laughs> oh, it's a nice toy watch you got there in Smiths. <laughs> Alright. And then you'd be like, oh it actually moves. Must have a battery. And then you'd be like, holy f that's forty grand. <laughs> Mustang we rented. It was supposed to go back today, but I had an incident. I'm sorry. <sighs> you can't laugh in the background. <laughs> I called roadside assistance, but they said you guys are having an issue and I had to email them, but I was too shaken to write an email. Mm -hmm. 
I need a lawyer. What do you mean a lawyer? So in the UK, we have the right away. So. <laughs> Is there like a a six a corporate attorney and like a, or even something like, like a cleaner that can come by like make it go away? Stop. Okay. Um. Did you? Do I call the police or do you call a lawyer? Or do you guys make it go away? Make a report about, at the police. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop laughing. Tell her, tell her, hey, I paid for the extra insurance. You gotta get rid of the body. So technically, this is a reservation department, and we can have uh, oh, a police. Can oh. No, I hear, I hear you. I'll, I'll make a reservation. I'd like to reserve some. <laughs> I'll reserve some cleaners for around midnight. Have you seen the movie John Wick? Just like that. A movie what, sir? Sorry, that was my kid in the background. <laughs> All I can say is I'm glad the car's red. And thank you for your time. I'll do that now. Hi there, Nico here. I hope you're well. Watch expert. Hi. Hi. Good, day, sir. Good. I forgot to give the car back. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I did. <laughs> sorry for my uh, sorry for my friend here. You'll be uh, having a penalty of uh, one day rental fee plus a ten dollar uh, later date fee. That's no problem. I deserve that penalty. <laughs> Am I in a cult? I think I'm an I'm in a cult. Holy f it's so skinny. <laughs> no. What the f <laughs> can you lift that thing out of the I like how fast you're trying to eat these last ones. I've seen you. <laughs> Want to get it over? Mm -hmm. Just a disclaimer, I know you have the hot sauces here. If I do this or even attempt to do this, I will end up in hospital. Now, for our YouTube channel, that's not really worth it, but it is worth it if we go on this. We bought the sauces two years ago and you still haven't done it. Because I will end up in hospital. I got you beat. Mentally, I have you beat. You're trying to run right now. You did the second you walked in. In the final round, you're running. <laughs> Stick those sauces up your hole. I don't want them. Two seconds later. The last dab, made with Apollo pepper. I thought you were gonna just die. That's, <laughs> That's horrendous. F that. So this is it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Holy f <laughs> Holy f What happened with I'm never doing this? <coughs> Fuck up. Yeah, it's a lovely Bretling Super Ocean. Bretling Super Ocean was uh, first introduced in 1957. They brought out this edition version thing called the Homage, and then you have the Super Ocean Heritage, which comes with uh, comes with and without a chronograph. This is the Super Ocean 2. It's a lovely watch. It's worth um, second hand market about $2,000, $3,000. Bro, I'll die. I'll die. Can I have the key? Legend? <laughs> Better than Mustang. This is ten times better than any Mustang I've ever driven in my life. <laughs> Let's drive and find some vintage sex toys. Or anything that looks remotely like it. Anyone have vintage sex toys? Whenever I came to this show for the first time and I saw these carts, I genuinely thought there were a lot of people that were disabled. Because they're like, why is there so many carts? Just lazy. But people are just lazy. Zach Efron. You know Zach? Right, I do. I know him from, uh, what do you call that? that? That he's a cop or something? Or? High School Musical? I watched a movie yesterday. It was actually quite interesting. It's called? National Lagoon Christmas yeah. Vacation. Nah, there's no storyline. It's just a lot of shit. But it is quite funny, like old school 90s funny, like. Wearing a Portuguese. -er. Zach is wearing a. Portuguese. -er. He's wearing an IWC Portuguese. -er. IWC is actually a really interesting history, including supplying watches to the Nazis, but we'll not talk about that too They're much. A Nazi watch company? The Nazi watch company, like, I mean, what the f is going on there? To be fair, Stoa, Elong, and Söhne, they all made watches for the German Luftwaffe, which is the Air Force. There's a wee bit of irony in this story because IWC was founded by an American guy. So what the American army did was bomb the entire of Schaffhausen. Literally. IWC, I will conquer. They supplied the watches to the Nazis, to the German Air Force. Nice supporting the boys, I'm about to say it. I. Uh, <laughs> 
say there's more irony in this story, right? Because in the late 70s, <laughs> what in the late 70s, they were bought by an investment fund, an automotive group <laughs> called Adolf, <laughs> Adolf Schindling. <laughs> so they brought Adolf back. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> the specific watch he's wearing is a Portugueser. The Portugueser is a line of watches introduced in the 30s and still today one of the most popular models of that brand. And I must say, I own one Portugueser. He's called Juan, he does your garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here, lads. You see, I'm trying to do serious stuff here. Can I just point out, my grandfather is was a war hero. Done. <laughs> Shove your hoopla up your blurt, yeah, whore bag. <laughs> your bag. Today, I'm re-ranking your favorite watch brands. I see some very, very interesting brands. I see some absolute dog sh**. Most of them is dog sh**. That's why we need to put them in the middle ground. Right, we can rock through these two quite quickly. Fossil is shade. Daniel Wellington is f***ing shade. Bell and Ross, lovely people work at Bell and Ross. Um, if they ever want a job at a proper watch company, give me a buzz. Mont Blanc, shade. They're f***ing Nico, is the parcel okay? Is this funny? Can you put that step there for f***ing sake? Is this actually funny? <laughs> Listen, I can use this now as my driving range. <laughs> literally you. Yeah, that's me. That's literally me. Galileo Galilea. <laughs> that's definitely one of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't f me up now. He says Galileo. Galilei. <laughs> that's funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Galileo Galileo. <laughs> Why the f*** would you ever put that on your wrist? It's like a pizza slice on your arm. I love to own one and then I have one in a watch box and it's then a watch where, where you can talk about, you see what I mean? And you own one, right? But never to wear, right? Never to wear. Or you can put it on your cock and point it down so you know which direction to go. Doesn't make sense either because then it goes to your, what is this called? Where your f***ing pubes are? Well, what do you call that? If you have it on your penis, it's pointing out towards your body part where the pubes are. How do you call that? What are you talking about? Yeah, and with women, you call that something. Let's ask. Hello? Any woman? Women? How do you call this part of a body thing with women? What? With women? So it's not the vagina and it's above the vagina. What? What? What are you talking about? This part above... Like your pubic bone? Yeah. yeah. Know where the pubes are? There is a word for that in English. I don't know. I, there's always jokes about that. Let me explain this joke. Because certain women that are a bit oversized have two bellies. We call it two bellies. One hanging around. <laughs> 50 bellies! 50 bellies? Where am I you? No, never mind. I'll just stop talking about this. This is a joke. I'm asking my f***ing staff to figure out what the f***. That part of the body is cold. There's something wrong with me, I have issues. Today, I'm creating the ultimate watch collection for poor people. <laughs> uh, and let's go and search for some peasants watches. F off. What is the first brand you think of when you think of affordable, for cheap watch? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! This is a woman's watch. Price doesn't matter to women anyway because they don't pay it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry! Uh, look at that sh What kind of blind designer made this? <laughs> Jesus, f***ing horrendous, mate. First of all, what the f*** is wrong with you when you produce this, when you make this, when you draw this, when you didn't actually make the decision we're gonna make this? I don't know what's worse. People buying this or people producing this? That is f***ing horrendous. That designer must f***ing compete in the Paralympics for watch designs. That is a horrendous f***ing piece. Right, that is really weird because I'm not even shouting. Yeah, but you were buying it. You were buying it sometime a minute ago. Hey, sorry, sir. How are you? Come in. Guys, we, we've had business next door, and this client sitting there. Ah. And the the voice. First of all, sir, I would love to introduce myself. Yeah. Nico. The only reason I'm, I'm annoyed is because we've said it before, but we've clients in there. Ah. And like your your voice is booming. Ah. You're making the noise. You're the nuisance. You have to do something about this. I'm going to figure out how we can solve that. When? What do you want me to do now? You do you want me to do... Listen, what has to be done will be done. Right, sorry for that interruption. Um, I'm going to talk a wee bit lower. Because uh, my neighbour had a very important customer. F*** up. I missed my flight. I missed my flight because of you. No. Actually, because of me. I wanted to stay longer. Do you mind? Am I allowed to be here for a bit longer? No, I'm allowed to be here. <laughs> 
I didn't think it was going to go. I didn't think it was going to go. I was trying to stop you. That didn't hurt. Oh, no. It was a mild. Went down slow. Oh, oh, oh. Get back in there. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, It sounds even better outside than this. <laughs> Jeez! Oh. That's insane! That's insane! That wasn't me driving my car. That was Matt. So, Matt, what is your verdict? <laughs> There's a poor cyclist in there who's now dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was insane. I've never heard a car sound that good. <laughs> This is fantastic! This is the first day of the car being like this, so yeah. it is just like a child coming through. Press police! Oh, please, please, please! Please, they want us, they want us! <laughs> Sorry. So we're we going, yeah? Yeah, so we're we going, so we going, yeah? We're going, going, yeah. I've never had a foreign police chase before. <laughs> oh, it does not look happy, does it? And for the first time in my life, I got properly arrested by the police. Sorry. So it wasn't us. It wasn't me. It was him. I'll <laughs> <laughs> go get it. It took us on a 40 kilometer drive to the police station where we all thought that they were gonna seize our cars. So I have a wee bit of a problem. We didn't do anything crazy. We didn't speed, we didn't do anything. <laughs> But police is uh, escorting us to a police station. Like, genuinely, we didn't do anything. I have proof of that. That is what That's we it. Need. That's it. Oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> $80. That is perfect. $80. But this is so nice. I want to keep that myself. That's the problem. I'm looking, I'm buying something on the show, like something antique or something crazy, and I'm giving that away on YouTube for the crack, right? So I'm on the hunt for something really, really cool. So this is shortlisted. That's what I want. That's what I really want. Hello. Can I buy your dog's ass? <laughs> yes, you may. Fantastic. Could you throw in a good luck penny? Absolutely. What do you think of my dog's ass? I love it. <laughs> Roman is like, what did you buy? I bought a, bought a dog's ass. You don't see them every day. I have two dogs, to be fair, so I see a dog's ass <laughs> a few times a day. But... Here's a coin for you. Maybe I should a coin for your baby, too. That's it. And a shiny one. That's it. Okay. Look at that. Your luck pennies sorted. I'm not even going to negotiate with this lovely lady. I want that dog's ass. <laughs> one, two, three. Four. I bought a dog's ass. That's my dog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. I like it, you dirty horry. Now, if you drill a hole, it becomes a sex toy. Exactly. That's how we roll. How are you, sir? <laughs> what do you think of my dog's ass? Love it? Me yeah. too. To be fair, I like dogs and I like asses. Now I have a dog's ass, even better. <laughs> I'm gonna take this to the back and I'm gonna do some dirty stuff with it. Here in America, you should be driving an American car, right? An American car for me is a V8. I rented a American car. Is it V8? A power one. Of course it's not a V8 for <laughs> sake. I get this red piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, it is maybe, it's five liters. Look at it, it's red though. Red is horrible color. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here, you <laughs> Ah, you yeah. Ah! Boxing. You cigarettes in your pocket. Yes, you have your f***ing box. You can't smoke. Ah! <laughs> Where? How many have you smoked already? You need to start training. Yes. Three to the floor. Six. Seven. Do, Do it, it Nico. Do it. Yes. Do it. Yes. Do it. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> you get the cigarette, right? <laughs> Where are the gloves? Wait. I'll knock you out with a cigarette in my mouth. Come on. Put the gloves on. Yes, I will. Let me have a cigarette for five seconds, will you? Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Mm. Oh, you want to do a hook? Okay. Left, right, left hook. <laughs> That's pretty good, but you don't pick up your feet. Nico Whaley hates fake watches. What is, who's Whaley? That's fat shaming, you c To be fair, if I don't watch out, I am going to end up like that with a f nose thing breathing sh no differences. What? Peter the Pettigrew? Peter Pettigrew. Where, where's he? He's from Harry Potter, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's a disgrace. Sucking daddy's duck. <laughs> Put this on. It's gonna be King's costume. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
dressed in my five year old daughter. The king is <laughs> back! Henry the Eighth. <laughs> Henry the Eighth. <laughs> this is my f city. Bend forward, David. I have something for you. <laughs> no f oh, no! It suits him, right? It suits you. Yeah, I feel very comfortable in this. No worries. He's got the wealth, belly, and everything. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, exactly. Back in the day, it was it was it was you were shown pure wealth. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Can I officially knight the Mustang as the worst car I've driven yet? Where the f am I? <laughs> this is bizarre. There's nothing. It's Ferrari all day, every day. V12. Twelve singing horses. You have a, you have a flat tire, bro. No, it's the other side, mate. <laughs> I do have a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that's wrong. How did you get here? There's nothing in it. Wait, look. It's literally zero PSI. The sensor set from left. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs> and do you have a spare tire? <laughs> hey, that is nuts. That is nuts. American cars are bullshit. If there's no spare in this thing, the I'll literally call the, call the, the, the company and they can pick it up themselves. There's the tire! Yeah? Yes! But it's dog sh Look at this f screen. This is the rear of the car, that's the front of the car. We agree on that? Yep. Yeah? Facts. Because it looks like the left tire is flat, doesn't it? Yeah. Look how good this tire looks! That's in good condition. That left, left side of the car, right? This is no Illuminati bullshit, right? This is genuine. This is the right side? What the actual f We thought the sensors were just the problem this whole yes. time, this whole trip. We've been driving on a PSI 15 tire since like three days ago. Yes. Not thinking there was actually anything wrong. To be fair, you did say about bringing the Mustang here to wreck it. It wrecked itself, that's how bad it is. I didn't have to do anything. Drove two hours to the ass end of nowhere just to have a flat tire. Oh, oh. Thank you. All right, good, good I luck. Don't, I don't like this. <laughs> No, I don't like this. Nah, that's not that's not fun. Were you screaming? <laughs> Made scream. I, I was right. I didn't scream. I didn't cry. <laughs> you actually blew that tire. We blew both of them. He just wanted to. He just went all in against me. Damon blow the tires. What do you blow? You blow. <laughs> you blow. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I thought I heard. <laughs> that's bizarre. That's <laughs> bizarre. Beast mode. Proper beast mode. <laughs> I hate this. Don't lose those. There you go. Grab it. <laughs> That's, <the> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> you might. Well, it's a rental, so you might be paying for the damage to the rim now. Where? There's no damage on the rim. Uh, pick it up right and look right. at the front of the face. I don't give a sh. Gently move it to the side. Gently, it, gently. Yeah. Don't roll gently. it. <laughs> Did you just lean on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god. He really hasn't ever changed oh a tire. He really hasn't. <laughs> just so you know. This has like a max speed limit. Mate, you don't want to drive this car above 65 anyway. Your f- <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> You're dumb. So I held up this bullshit story with the three cars, right? He's like, no, you didn't burn out. It's like, mate, check my car. I didn't do a burnout, right? I just didn't. <laughs> Top four favorite films be? A Beautiful Mind, Russell Crowe, Donnie Brasco, because it's four favorite movies, right? Yeah. Can I not make it five? I'll let you have five. Okay, good, good, good. Scarface, that's what I needed to put in because that's the f belter, right? There's a movie, it's called The Long Weekend. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my life. I cannot get it anywhere for the life of me. Not on Netflix, Amazon, Apple, not on any of these streaming services. I cannot find that movie. The Long Weekend, definitely. Inglorious Bastards. I mean, that is funny, like. Right, I need to call HSBC because some f***ing mad 
after someone has stolen 30 grand of our money. They've done that via direct debit. Really random numbers. Bright and Pinion has taken 24,054 pounds and 18p off Bright and Pinion. They also took 45, they also took 197 and 1762. Pride and Pinion took from Pride and Pinion, how does that work? It's been a long time ago that HSBC featured on our channel. No, I can't pay my f staff because I can't log in because you guys keep in my business. I lost 7,000 pounds today, big man. F***ing shit, f***ing cuts. I am done with this. F***ing hell, now I need a new phone as well. Bought a batch of boxes from a new source and they're fake. Like, look at that. So you see what we do with these boxes? We just do this. <laughs> we f destroy them. I don't want fake boxes in my business. What was wrong with it? Everything. Yeah, this is not a real Rolex box. Like this is a real Rolex box. You see the wood? Yeah, that's so You see the yeah. aging? You feel this? Look at the look at that compared. Yeah. How f is that? Can I go for a pish first? I need to pish like a racehorse. Can I go quickly first? Yeah? Yeah, go for it. It's a relief. Look at that. And it literally says on the dial, not for resale. This is a funny joke to the actual service hublot. When you put your watch for service, you were given a watch that you can wear in the meantime. It's a clever and it's a good move from hublot, but on the dial it said not for sale. Now, here they put it up, not for resale, right? Just as a joke, ha 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 ha. Who wants to resell that watch anyway? Because no one wants to buy that. Thing in the first place. Are you play FIFA now? Oh yeah. All right, I'll beat you in a second, right? <laughs> <laughs> right I'll beat you in a second. Oh, all right. I don't think I will, but it's a different story. You I'm, probably will. No, 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 I'm yeah. dog shit. You know what that's going in here? No, 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 no. You're not going to put Miami clip in there. Nine shots in a row. Nine. Nine. You stupid fuck. Nine. Oh! <laughs> Why are you not running? I don't select my fucking player. <laughs> I was raging, right? And this shit, right? That I got beat by someone who never played FIFA. <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. Three so nine. I threw the control over the balcony. No, not even over the balcony. I've had that. I've done that, man. <laughs> I threw one in the green room the other day playing Madden. Oh. Two weeks ago. That is bad. I was playing the computer, dude. I wasn't even playing a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't even playing an intelligent human. Being. You know what I mean? Yeah. Johnny, if I don't blow your mind during this video, I will never blow anything again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel now. Click on the buy it bell you icon. Can't say that. No, I can't say it. I just can't. I'm I'm a f <laughs> Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel now and if you want to do me a favor and go f*** yourself. <laughs> Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel now and if you want to buy or sell your f***ing c***. <laughs> Aberconchi, what do you call that? Aber, Aber f you guys know this. I, have n I didn't grow up with you this. Did you buy a Rolex at Abercrombie and Fitch? Yes. How insane was that? Aber, Aber, what is his name? Abercrunchy. Abercrunchy. <laughs> f*** off. And you can also buy this at Abercrunchy. F*** that. At a store called Abercrunchy and Finch. Fish. <laughs> what is this? I'm trying to make a serious video here, lad. I need a drink. Mate, I need a drink. You know that non-alcohol stuff that we talked about? We're not talking about it. You can use the red carpet. A guy that is as handsome as me always deserves to be on that red carpet. These are my new friends. Yes. No, I'm not, I'm not his friend. <laughs> <laughs> not, yet. not yet. I'm not his friend. <laughs> How are you? How are you? You're out. Go away. What's this picture right here? Ah, oh, shut up, Shay. Constantine always says about the one second wow. Yes, what was one second wow, yeah. What was your last one second wow? You don't want to know that, mate. You don't want to know. That was uh, not for camera. <laughs> this is Skyward Drift. This is absolutely insane. Get in. Get in? Yeah. Where the f do I get in? There's a step. Yeah, but it doesn't it's the step. It's on camera how I actually think this is. Like the step. Stand, stand beside the wheel. This step. Hey. Uh, I am I'm six foot four, right? How do I step on that? Go on. Right, let's do this. I'm grown up. Uh, <laughs> one second. I have tight trousers. <laughs> I can do this. Oh, look at that! Wow. Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> ah, yes. 
Yeah, this is the daddy. <laughs> yeah. Nate, I want to hear it. You think you can start it? I think there'll be about 30 people running towards you if we start it. <laughs> That's insane. How are you? <laughs> this is gonna be the fun part. Now I can conquer any car. Is it taller than you here? What? Is the car taller than me? There's a beer in the woods. The bonnet. <laughs> Look at the bonnet. Here's some really great attention grabbing watches. Scumbag dad! The most modest, craziest guy on TikTok and Instagram Reels. It is really, really difficult to get in him or to get. <laughs> No, no, no. Very tight. The whole point of a Rolex is you buy one now, it will last you for 20 years if you take care of it. It'll last you for 100 if you really take care of it. That's ultimately why they're so expensive, uh, because you, you're you buying something that will last you. This video is a little bit of kicking open, an, this is like kicking an open, opening up an open door, or kicking open, or kicking an open door. Right? That doesn't make sense, what am I saying? You haven't said anything yet? How do you, what is that saying? Kicking open a door that's already open. What does that say? <laughs> what is that saying? It's a door that's open. It's like kicking open a door. Shut up, bitch! It is like there's a lot of words being used without saying anything, really. Can I watch this again? Use. Can I watch this one more time? Because I really want to make some points here, right? In order for a Rolex to actually leave the factory or be a Rolex design, it has to be recognizable from 20 feet away. Yeah, but that is with every product in the world. That is Nike, Air Max, Nikes, whatever Nikes, or any other brand, or any other car. It's called marketing. It's got nothing to do with watches, nor does it anything to do with Rolex. Their three qualities are self-winding. That's incorrect, but I'll come back to that in a second. Waterproof. They're waterproof. That's handy for a watch that costs 10 Okay, right? That is self-winding and it's waterproof, right? And precision. And precision. Oh, it's nice that it tells the time whenever you need to, right? <laughs> and it actually tells you the accurate time. Right, that's not the reasons why a Rolex watch is expensive. I'm very sad to see this, that someone from Houdinki in this case, a, an old vat like Kara. She doesn't look like an old vat, but she is. <laughs> no, vet, like veteran. <laughs> not a bat, you mark. It was vet, not bat. Put your fickle, start the glass. How much the glasses? Say one thing first. Oh, that's Drake. Drake is a legend. The glasses, Tom Brown. I don't really know how much they are. Though. I lost them like 10 times. For I real? Yeah, I found them. Wait, you just asked them again. I see the earrings. I'm in the earrings. What is he saying? What did he say? Oh. The earrings are like 600 each, I think. 600 each? Yo, I'm going crazy. I hope he's meaning $600 each, but I do think he's meaning 600k each. Okay, I see the chain, hold for the chain, my boy. You should probably save that for last. Save that for last? Okay, hold for the jacket, hold for the jacket. Jacket, like, it's an old Jeff Hamilton jacket, like, probably four bills or something. Four bills for the jacket? Four bills, how much is four bills? 4K? Okay. A jacket 4K, and yeah. it just has a C on with an H. Jacket, yeah, okay, I see the chain, hold for the chain, my boy. Bottega, cashmere, like, probably like, Bills. Like four bills. Okay, I see the bills. I still have no idea what the f he's saying. Like, I mean, what the f is going on? I see the kids. I'm for the kids, my boy. I don't even know, but Loewe boots. I wear these like probably way too much. Way too much? Yeah. I feel like, listen, I see the channel. You say same for like how much the change? Honestly, I'm embarrassed to say. How much? Probably like nine. Oh, 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 over over ten M's for sure. Ten for the <laughs> Over 10 million. I don't think it's 10 M's, but to be honest, if you see him on the street like this, his drip, I would give him a grand. Oh! I want to watch, I want to watch, I want to watch. I want to watch. I want to watch. The watch, like, I don't know. 900 or something. 900 K! Yo, yeah! Yeah, that's not worth 900K anymore. That's worth about 400 now. Hello, I'm Bored. Let's do what a guy's watch says about him. Holy f. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, 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 that's not bad. He has an Omega, he's probably watched way too many Bond movies, and he thinks he's cooler than he actually is. Correct! He wears a Daniel Wellington, get that man a time machine, because he's still living in 2016. Correct! Him if he wears like a fossil watch, just get a real watch. Correct! We're heading towards the right direction here. The Apple Watch man is an efficient, reliable man. He's probably very minimalistic and wants to optimize his exercise or his sleep. Apple Watch is a toy, mate. Apple Watch is just a toy. 
toy. I actually think that an Apple Watch is an interruption and I think it's disrespectful because when you have a conversation with someone and constantly someone is getting notifications on their phone, it's really pissing me off. If he wears a Breitling, 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 and he probably wants Breitling or already owns a boat. Either way, lock this man down. He definitely don't own a boat. I don't know what a boat got to do with Brett Ling anyway, but I like her. She's a keeper. What's your name? What's your number? What's your Instagram? 1500. Chain. 30. 60K? It was 60K, right? Uh, wait, 60K. what is it? VVS? Yeah. Oh, VVS, right? VVS, yes. Okay. And then right here. I f***ing hate this, right? He knows fine rightly how much he paid, but he had to act like he's f***ing Billy Big Mo. 60K, right? Shut up, you mark. Okay. And then right here, uh, watch 50k. What? 50k. That watch is not 50k, bro. That, that's a fake watch. That watch is fake. Don't know who the f*** he is. J G Breezy. Who's G Breezy? Sounds like G Jizzy. This guy is a f***ing fake no, it actually is someone. Someone on Facebook. He has 18 million subscribers on Facebook. He gets f***ing paid like f because of that for sure. I mean, why the f***, if you get properly paid, you're making f***ing insane money on Facebook. Why the f***? Are you wearing a piece of sh fake watch? Explain me that. I don't get it. 2K on the cane. 10K right there on the grill. Spent that. I get a crackhead over there, $10. I'd never want to see this guy again. I don't. If I ever see this guy again, no. I just don't want to see this guy again. This is horrendous. Tiffany and Co. Genuinely f their customers in the ass, sideways, bottom ways, up ways. And they didn't even put a condom on. Today I'm reacting to the watches worn by the F1 racers, drivers, watches. Sergio Perez! Let me guess. Tech Hoyer. <laughs> this is how you really see the watches they're wearing in real life. This sounds so stalking. What you do is you search for the wife of the racing driver, right? Or the partner or the fiance. And then you look at their photos and then you see the real watches. How's their wives though? Fantastic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Lando Norris, we're mates. Now nah, we're not mates. We have each other's phone number. It's a bit of a one-sided relationship. I text him and he doesn't reply. <laughs> as well as that, I was very fortunate to meet Lando Norris this year, as you may know, and I tried on his watch. I'll just like, just... I don't think it will fit. No, mate, it's you're, you're, no, I'm not doing that. Not, I'm yeah. not doing that. Right, you have skinny, you have skinny, and then you have Lando Norris somewhere, right? His watch didn't fit on four of my fingers. Yeah, that's a small man. Beautiful watch, by the way. Richard Mille Arm 6702. Absolute insane piece. I think he had it on a beautiful white strap. It didn't fit and I didn't want to force it because can you imagine breaking his watch during a race? That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> That was Lando's team, you know? This is cool, right? I'm now doing too many men name drops here. I'm sorry, guys. Lando's team is absolutely fucking got here. They tried to torture me with where's your hublot. This was the Max Verstappen's World Championship. This was the really controversial win, which I think wasn't controversial. That is very controversial, I know. Let's see what Lando's wearing, right? Yo! Legend, what are you wearing? What am I wearing? Look at that RM67! No baller! Look at that, guys! I don't want the straps again. You need to choose my next uh, strap. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Was this the one you had on the yeah. white strap? Because that was the Sebastian Augier, wasn't it? Nope. No, no, no. Uh, it's the same one. So I was actually wrong. I'm a useless watch expert. I'm not even a watch expert anymore. You're terrible, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another one coming. Black strap, mate. Black strap. You think black strap? What I would love to see is the white RM72. That is my most favorite watch now of all time. With a triple index chronograph, which is handy for racers like yourself, right? Not that you ever use it, but whatever. <laughs> it is insane. Yeah, I'm working on the collection still. Ah. It, takes, it takes time. Ah, no worries. Oh, Here, thank you, mate. Thank you, you're a legend. Here, one second, one second, one second, right? This is uh, one of our, uh, look at that. She's your biggest fan, right? Here. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's your biggest fan, right? <laughs> Shit hog. Cheers, lad. Thank you. Catch you later. Okay, Good luck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh my God. Look how awkward she looks. Man, a tomato could be more red than you. <laughs> now I'm absolutely done with name dropping, by the way. Listen. He's, Lado is a fucking lad, you know. I like him. Holy f yeah, that looks yeah, fucking that horrendous. Nico, give a little tickle. That's scary as f He just grabs it like it's nothing. Here, put your finger in. No, no, I'm it's not going dead. there. It's dead. I just want you to see no, it. So no, 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 you're, you're gonna f I'm not gonna do anything. Look. You're fing with me. Ah! <laughs>
How much would that crab cost? $900. $900 for a crab? Oh, that sounds so dirty. What the f He's pissing. What the f He's pissing. How is this possible? <laughs> you like that, Miko? Mm. I thought you like crap. I've never had crap. Anything with mayo tastes nice, doesn't it? <laughs> That simple. I wanna make this this oh. Can I, I wanna have a look? Oh, smell this. Nico will fully shit his pants and then be like, oh, what, what's going on in this room? What's going on in this room? Right, do you think it's appropriate to steal one cookie? It's inappropriate. This one is Nutella, I think. Don't say that to me. Got this. Got this. If I were to fart right now, do you think it would catch flame? To be fair, if they're gone, I'll try. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't say you could touch this. You just ask first. Okay. Isn't that can I, No, but how stupid is Hey, sir, can I put that mask on? Here. No, you Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The white version of Kanye West. <laughs> no, I don't know. You want to be that. Do the male version of Kim Kardashian. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't looked That's at your booty thing. yet. It's big. <laughs> Pull my fingers on. No, absolutely not. I'm chilling here in Norway, lying in the back of a truck, feeling like a proper hillbilly slash Viking. I'm loving it. Couldn't be better. I'm thinking about a career change. <laughs> Five in the morning, five minutes past five. And it's still bright, and that's the smallest airport in the world. Meaning, it's gonna be as well one of the smallest planes in the world. I am petrified for these fucking small planes with sticks, the propellers. Start making up lies about it just to scare Josh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you didn't exactly hype me up with it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the size of these planes are insane. I hope it doesn't fall out of the sky. Like, it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows. Eight windows. So there's some sort of mathematical equation you want me to do with that? No. Okay. I'll think of Take the No. He used to sit next to an emergency exit. Cool. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. My heart rate is up to 110. Frequency, I'm on the earth, can't run out. Rip board, to pull for that. Sorry, it's intense. Electronic. Please let me advance up an emergency evacuation. Tell <laughs> 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 your train cable and fasten your safety belt. Probably not. He'll probably end on a hard cup, him showing his ass. <laughs> Johnny, what's the plan today? Hey, yeah, yeah. What? Got you a gift? No way! You finally got Prime. I appreciate that, mate. I appreciate that. I saw, I saw, I saw Stephen opening, open. I, I already. T tested Stevens. Oh, so you ruined the surprise. So I ruined. No, I didn't know you bought one for me. My first camera taste test. Go first. First camera. Mm. Um, wow, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is proper sweet. Like I like it though. I love them sweet. Pink to make the boys wink. Pink make the boys wink. Did you steal my drink? No, he gave me this. I did. To be fair, I got two. Got you one each. You drunk, mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I drank. I had a wee. Were you drinking mine or not? Yes, I had a wee sip. You can you can barely yeah, call that drinking. You could have tested your own. So I've been training hard for this boxing match, right? I had to drop about 55 pounds. It looks like I still need to drop 55 pounds, but that's incorrect. I need to drop about 45 more. 
I'm doing this for several reasons. One of which I want to push myself, and one of which is I am so comp This is really weird not having a shirt on. Can I put a shirt on and then continue this yeah, conversation? Yeah, so in the last video, I destroyed Gareth's watch, right? His movement piece of shit. Remember? I just want to prove a point here. Give me a hammer. This is a. This is your watch, right, Gareth? That's fucking move. That's fucking movement, right? So I got him a specific, I didn't get him this one. I got this sent to me today. Don't know who sent this, but uh, it, it really suits Gareth's character massively. So this is a gift from me to Gareth, right? Gareth! Hello. Hello. How's it going? Here, I have a watch for you, right? Remember when I said, when we destroyed that movement piece of shit of yours, right? Yeah. yeah. So here's the watch. But no, don't look. Open. Thank you very much. Right? It suits your character. Significant. This is your watch now. Hope you're happy with it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Leopard print. Yeah. It suits his character. Wild animal. Okay, that's what we're going You see oh, what okay, I mean? Okay, okay. Wild <laughs> animal. It's the Timex Nick Cage. Exactly. How do you feel about this? Feels so professional, life. Isn't it? I don't know who sent me this watch. I appreciate it. Uh, it's g getting a good home. Thank you very much. So you didn't buy it for me? <laughs> it's not. It was sent to me. I gifted it to you. That's a primary school special. It's a primary school special. <laughs> it's the Montgomery special. It's a gift from me to you. Or from someone to him. But I was just the middleman. Say thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What have we got here? One chip challenge. Nico was too much of a b to do it. So Tim says he's got the biggest balls in the office. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna do it. Now we're getting the milk and St. John's Ambulance just in case. You might want to open a window in here because... It's absolutely yeah, good. I'm already freaking out. Actually, Actually I'm worried. You need to bring like the two liters of milk. I don't so think I that's... You don't need more than that. The hottest chili challenge in the world and you bring me a hundred mil of milk. What the f*** wrong with you? Straight from the car. <laughs> Just remember. <laughs> the one chip challenge limited accepts no responsibility whatsoever. Neither do I. Yeah. Tell the camera you're doing this of your own free will. I'm doing this of my own free will. I watch people do this on TikTok and they've like proper freaked out. Oh my gosh, bro! My whole body, bro! <laughs> Like, what is this? Just in case, in case you throw up everywhere. No, just so I can spit some milk out. I actually need a sh** as well, so I'm really hoping this doesn't make it instantly. <laughs> How gross is this chip gonna look? It is black, you boot. Oh, nah. You wanna smell that? No, no. It actually really stinks really that. bad. Right, when you're ready, you nail that motherfucker. I'm f scared. It's the smells put me right off it. Don't smell it. Don't think about it. Just do it. <laughs> you want a full thing? Oh. You have a swallow? Of course you do! Can you yak up? The milk? Um, I think you, you might want to wait for the milk. I don't know, it's up to you. It's true as I think that's because the toilet did. Perfect. You're so black. You're not so black. Well, I just get warm in here. I just get warm in here. Oh, hang on. Come on, what? You alright? Yeah? Oh, a roof of it. Oh, a pillow? Get the milk in me. No, no. You're f***ing beaming, right? My back's actually getting sore, though. I'm not even f***ing being funny here. Why you not just swallow the milk? Yeah, it's alright. The milk's actually alright. Nah, it's f***ing hectic. It was better before it got worse. For the hottest chip in the world, do you think it earns the name? Uh, it is really bad. <laughs> it comes in waves, like, I don't know how long this lasts, because <coughs> it's pretty shit. Many unbearable hours later. It's actually, it's, see as soon as you have the milk, it's alright. You're 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 my Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> we go for it. Yeah. Alright, Nico. America says no. All right, let's get stuck in the Jameson because it's... What time is it? Quarter to nine in the morning? Nine o'clock in the morning. Let's get in the Jameson and Gingers. So it's technically what? No. Four in New York time? That's like, let me see. New York. It is okay. four o'clock in the morning. It's legal. Well, it's not illegal to drink at 4 a.m. Probably not the best idea. Flight time, ladies and gentlemen. I just had a quick call. Rush, rush, rush. It's quite weird because it's an hour and 10 minutes before the flight leaves. That's not normal boarding time, to be honest. Not for you so, anyway. No, not for me. I literally board the plane like a minute after takeoff. This is a bit extreme. I don't like to be rushed. I just like to enjoy my Jameson and Ginger at four o'clock New York time. It's a four or a five somewhere all the day. That flight goes to Philly, son. Ah, Philadelphia Airport is It has carpet everywhere. Who has carpet? They're 
An airport. Loving Heathrow's good. The flagship lounge in Miami is f***ing cracker. All you need is a fly and lounge and then we're sorted. Dubai airport mate. Levels. So this is our flight and there's no one here. We're running basically for nothing. I could have had another Jameson and Ginger. This is a fraud. Yeah so it's somewhere. It is somewhere. Mary Poppins bag here. There's no passport in there. It's like Santa Claus bag, he just keeps pulling stuff out. I'm <laughs> not even joking, lad. Is this a scar? Yes. Mate, where the f is my thing? Do you have my passport? Honestly. Who? Me? No, did you ask? You're a f. You're a f. Oh, you're a f. <laughs> I'll look after you, don't worry. Anything to declare? Yeah. They just fake bezel aftermarket bezel, fake dial aftermarket dial. Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. Oh, Bert Kreischer. What yeah, did I say? It's not like a Nazi there. <laughs> yeah, you did inside against Nazi Germany. <laughs> I was gonna say he could be your brother. <laughs> that's a that's a bit disrespectful for him. He looks like a funny guy. Where you can you see what I mean? Uh, I was with Segura yesterday. He was throwing yes. this one away, so I just picked it up and. Really? He was like, "I'm done with it," and I was like, "Now, okay. now, I do have a question about how you're wearing them." Yeah. Because I do kind of like watches. I yeah. love. Mate, he's wearing the f disabled GMT. <laughs> can we put that in? It's a comedian's video, anything flies. Oh! Right. Like, I f***ing hate that thing, mate. I f***ing hate that. It's the GMT lefty, or as people call it, the Sprite. And I like to call it the disabled badge. It's horrendous. That's a f***ing piece of s***. This is the Rolex GMT Master 2, reference number 126720VTNR. It's a horrendous looking one. Well done. What was his name again? Bert Schneider? No, that was his name again. Bert Kreiser. Bert Kreiser. You just call him the machine. The machine. I will allow him to be a two watch wanker. A double wrist wanker. The guy on the left, by the way, I am pretty sure he knows his shit about watches as well. What is your man called? The, the guy with the curlies? Bert Gagnon. Gagnon. Dick. What is that? Some f***ing fake remake of a f***ing piece of shit, Richard Mill? Or what is that? The K shape looks like Richard Mill, but I don't see any screws in the bottom of the case and a really weird type of strap that I've never seen before, definitely not with Richard Mille. This looks like a f***ing homage to Richard Mille, to be honest. What is this? Mille, I can't be, mate. That's not a Richard Mille. Robert Downey Jr. is nothing less with Infinity Stones. There you go. Told you, it's a f***ing piece of shit. Robert Downey Jr., I saw you made some big upgrades in your collection. They're all f***ing worthless now because of that f***ing piece of shit. Nah, I'm done, mate. I'm done. And sitting here for two hours looking at watches now. Let me show some titties. See me see some titties. Piece of shit. I'm stoked that you're here and um, I, I've been. I oh, there's your cock suck thing. Your gag and I. Gagnon? Gagnon person. Be brushing up on a lot of your content, right? You guys have like fancy wristwatches. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's no. like gold. Nothing no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm looking yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> No, that's the base model Apple Watch. What do you mean? What is this? this is know, a Casio? This base model, dude. This, this watch is $17. But Ooh, so it's, I, I got you beat on that. It's got a 10 year battery. Ooh. It's got a, a light. Listen, Casio's got there. Casey Neistat is got there. F right? What a guy. An Apple Watch is f horrendous. Tom Segura. Finally, a person I know. And let me tell you one thing I have a claim to fame here, right? Listen to this. So you've never been to Belfast before? Never. No. What's your conception of it? I know misconception word is conception word. Yeah. What's your perception of it? Yeah, yeah. I don't think people say what's your conception of it. <laughs> we do not. We do now. Yeah. I don't really know much about Belfast. Um, mm -hmm. I know that crazy watch dude is there. Oh uh, yeah, Nico. Yeah, I know him. Um, yeah, I might. I might try to stop by. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my. That's my perception of Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> I can go home. I am done. My life. My career is finished. I've completed it, mate. Go. F yourself everyone the only thing a person knows about belfast is me that really gave me a hard on you know you know the funny bit is what? he slid in my dms months ago that he was coming to belfast and would like to see the shop F me that was a big f up because first of all i didn't read the message second of all then i got sent this clip third of all i then messaged him and said listen i really appreciate that and i would love you to come over to the vault he's already been at the vault and guess what the vault was closed meters this car is higher than 1.9 meters and it's This is a rescue one. I can touch the ceiling. I can just touch the ceiling. <laughs> How nuts is that? Da, 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 da. Oh. I love your videos. I appreciate that, mate. Yes. Thank you. Hopefully, I will own those watches one day. 
first of all, I have something for Mark, right? I'll start with Mark, right? Okay. Because I made fun of his watch, I felt really bad. <laughs> and then it's like, I mean, I can't do that, right? You're coming to Ireland, you're coming to my place, you're coming to the watch guy, and I made fun of the fact that you were wearing. And then you came to me yesterday and said, but I had an upgrade, and I'm like, your watch still shit, bro. No, so we're gonna nice. change that, we're gonna change that. And I know that you also have something like a Cartier Santos, but you never wear it, right? I wear it sometimes. No, 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 that's a disgrace. You need to wear that all the time, right? Sometimes doesn't work, yeah. right? I have something new for you, right? Something cool, something I hope you will enjoy. And I'm gonna connect it to every one of you guys. I have one physical watch here, but every single one of you guys get the same, right? It's class, right? It's one of the most important dive watches in the world. And I have a watch for this man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I saw this Dylan Dennis debacle, right? It's not gonna happen, right? We're gonna make this- be real. Oh, this one is real, let me tell you. That's my reputation on the line here, right? So, first of all, if you if you like it, fantastic. If you don't, it's your problem, okay. not mine. So deal with it. You open it. Okay. See, Mark. Okay. Okay. And this is, everyone gets the same. Everyone's getting this one. This is, this is a because problem. I want you guys to have a memory of Ireland together. This is watch will resist a lifetime. It is fantastic. I think one of the most beautiful watches ever made. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Listen, I made fun of, uh, of your watch and uh, I, I do really appreciate how you guys welcomed me yesterday. I felt like one of you guys and that was a really special feeling. So well, for that, you thank you all. Thank you so much. Every one of you guys is getting one. I have I had one, only one physical, right? So I'm gonna sort that out. We're gonna size that for you so you don't have to worry about that stuff. We have some tools here and stuff. Hey. That's it. Oh, so uh, I appreciate you. So every, everyone thank is getting you one. Thank you so much. Bro. It was my first watch. Ah, you exactly. Exactly. I've never had one. <laughs> exactly, Vala, there's one for you as well. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I can't oh deal with these God. Apple Watches, mate. I can't <laughs> deal with that <laughs> shit, bro. But this one can't record audio. No, <laughs> but who the what are you doing in a bedroom, man? Scuba dive. No, but I, I, I can scuba dive with this. So the story <laughs> is about the Steve of, listen, I couldn't afford all, but to buy all of you, you and Rolexes, right? I'm not that rich, right? <laughs> Not yet, right? I'm not there yet. And we'll get yeah, there, right? Yeah, right? But this is daddy shit, right? In 1953, this was literally more important than the Submariner. But it is Unbelievable. Right? I mean, this is beautiful. Let's see right. Right, fine. And the reason why it was this, where is he? Dove, because he loves the Jubilee bracelet, and this is a very oh, similar what? bracelet. That's yeah, so how that works. So we have watches. Yeah, right. It's him. Cheers, lad. Three weeks. Cheers. Wow. It's time. Are you natural, Yeah. You recognize the box? Oh, shit. That's happening. Keys you box. stay right there. You're good luck. Keys, keys and box. this one is real. But <laughs> no. The box is also real in this time, right? Okay. 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 Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 I've been tricked whoa, 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 before. Whoa, whoa. I've been tricked before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been tricked yeah. before. Shout out to yeah, Dylan. Dylan. Are oh, you gift? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Check it out. He got me a fake Submariner Rolex. That's that a real Rolex. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. No butter. Let's some, see what yeah, we're working. You. You. It's real though. It's real though. Actually, I like this. Yeah, it is cool. This is cool, and it I'm is, keeping the box. Exactly, the box is The box is worth something. Listen, listen. Now you owe him four f f his choice listen. at retail. Exactly. <laughs> listen, Nico doesn't pay his taxes. I think the Irish <laughs> government should come for him. I think the Netherlands should come for him. <laughs> this is this is great, mm. dude. Look at that. Man. Look at that. That is fantastic. It's four Casio. buttons. Yeah, How many buttons? <laughs> four. Dude. Oh my god. Can you size this for me, bro? Uh, listen. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate. I know. I know you wouldn't wear any other watch in a two, two, two. So I want the whole crew to have the same watch, and you're gonna have one as well. I so. would love that. But and this I, is this is personal touch. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's just, I like it's it. here, mate. F right. I have PTSD for Rolex boxes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even show me a f Rolex box ever again. <laughs> uh, I I here, Woo! 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 God damn! You like it? Oh, well, honestly, dude. honestly, do you like it? Bro, I already thought it's I was the richest in the room, and now you can't tell me I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me I'm not oh, now. Go. That is your first luxury watch, bro. For, thank you so much, I, man. Uh, oh honestly, God, it was a cool. pleasure. Listen, I wanted to make sure you wore a normal watch, you know? Like this Apple bollocks. I'm controlling the music right uh, now. Oh. <laughs> That's fair play, happens. fair play. That's unreal. That's unreal. <laughs> That's fire, bro. I like that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tell me sure. something about it. Like, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's uh, yeah. battery powered as a Fantastic bracelet. It's black, exactly like I, how I like them. You tell me this is battery powered. Uh, Dude, that's not. Yeah, that's, that's high tech. Tell me this bro. isn't automatic, bro. Quartz. You gave me a quartz oh, Casio, dude. Oh, right, Tom. This is goddamn, bro. He's actually. 
peeling the old I'm gonna up. wear it. That would be <laughs> G. I'm gonna wear it. If I get gifted a night, huh? At least it's real, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Bro. We're putting Casio back on the map, yeah. dude. So Shai up his watch and he loves it. Look at him rocking two watches like a proper two watch wanker. I just wanted to give you guys Respect. a memory. And that watch will last a f lifetime, oh, right? This one right here. No, not that one. Oh, that will last 10 years. That's value for money, right? That's $12. Best $12 ever. That box is <laughs> 350 quid. Wait, what? You see, that box is worth more. There is so many cool cars here, some of which I can't show because they're too special and they're owned by really important people and stuff. I'm not very important, so I mean, my car probably just out here. We've done your car. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah. I got a little surprise for you that I thought that your viewers would really appreciate. If there's a hublot in there, I'll f***ing run off. No, 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 no. You can keep the car. There, there isn't, there isn't a hublot in there. Okay, good. No, it's not in the car. I can't afford a hublot to put it inside. <laughs> right. Let me show you the car first, yeah. so we have a look at it. The last, oh. the last time you brought this to us, yeah. it was a bit dirty. Are you ready? <laughs> Take it all off. Holy fuck. Ah, oh. oh, f*** <laughs> off! What a f***, dudes! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they told me so. <laughs> <laughs> this is brutal. We made sure it's the perfect color that matches the pinstripe. I don't want this anymore. F <laughs> off. That's horrendous. Oh, me. Ah! I've just been absolute bummed. F off. Okay. F I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he told me they're here. Some people in this office have hublot, you know. I've missed the car, you know. Can I have the key, please? Apart from, obviously, the sticker that you love. The lines, and I can't see that fucking logo. I've been done, hear me. I've been fucking royally bummed. Fuck you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're very detail oriented. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm fixing this car. Look at that horrible logo. Yeah. How are you? I do well. I told you. Take, mate. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, right? It's a Christmas present. A, it stopped. B, what, why do you think it's all like that? It's because you put it in somewhere where, you, where it shouldn't have been in the first place. Legend, mate. Thank you. <laughs> what a legend. You signed a ball for me. You just want to leave a message. <laughs> her. Oh, that's mad. This is going to go in the memorabilia case. Her. Thanks, lad. Do you know what though? He wasn't wrong, was he? No, he, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't wrong. That is humor. You're f in the middle of a competition. You do that. What a cracker. Nico, where have you dumped the car? Where the motorway's here. The car's parked. And that's all that matters. It's not like you to walk. I need to get moving, you know. We should have ordered an Uber to the car. I see the car. Where? Slip in here. Oh, we're in a different country. I thought we were in England then. Can hey, you hurry up? There was another community there called Watches Circle Jerk. Unbelievable community as well. Lovely people, very friendly. Uh, like this post, what an insufferable piece of sh**. <laughs> that is very kind of you. I told you last year I created Pride and Pigeon to bury his fat ass. <laughs> very well done. I like your uh, another subreddit called Pride and Pigeon. It's basically a subreddit with birds and photos of watches. I mean, it's... <laughs> you love birds and watches. <laughs> it's, it's mad. A site dedicated to pictures of watches on birds, way better than Pride and Pinion. Oh my god, I thought they were extinct. Where in this new Zulu time, no less. <laughs> if the world of watches couldn't get any f***ing stranger, I send them a lovely comment. I genuinely hope all of you guys find some love and peace in your life. Well, I got reply to, I feel very peaceful as long as I don't see your videos in my recommended. The number of people who die while homeless in Britain has increased every year since the start of the recording. Did you send your calls in it? I wouldn't have a clue. Right, let's get on with the video because we have a few homeless people to murder. <laughs> <laughs> Holy f The fact that this fat c manages to stand out as the absolute biggest scumbag in the watch space is actually a little impressive. So what did he say about you if he said that about Archie? True. <laughs> Mine and my wife's AP collection. Holy f that is horny. And I haven't seen a photo of your wife yet. Thought I'd share a recent Patek Philippe 5164 illustration drawn A5 paper. That's smaller than I'm... 
Used to. <laughs> <laughs> don't put that fart in now. I don't make the rules. No, you can't put... It's every time. Hoping to start something here. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. No. Uh, now get ready for... What is this? Describe what you see. What do you call your man? Uh, former Prime Minister of, of, of UK? Describe what you see. What do you see? I see... I can't describe what I see. It's f***ed up weird. No, it's a former Prime Minister what with a watch in it. On his head. What brand? Ours. On a? Head. On a? <laughs> Are you f***ing with me or what? Elf on a shelf, Oris on a? First of all, I don't know what Elf on a shelf is. <laughs> Second of all, what is Elf on a shelf? You're a dad. Yeah, but my kids are f***ing. They can't even wipe their own arse yet. Elf on a shelf, Oris on a? Tree? Oris on a tree. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Elf rhymes with Oris? That's Boris! Yes! Boris on a Boris. <laughs> so what's the joke? My friend got married and gave me a moon swatch as a groomsman gift. Get a new friend, mate. That's f cheap as f <laughs> What are you doing, mate? That watch will fall apart just after the wedding. Maybe you need to go for a fossil instead of a Cartier, you cheap What model Cartier is this? It's a tap, isn't it? It's got a blue sapphire. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Santos Fontaine. Santos Fontaine. First mechanical watch. Thank you, Nicole Onart. You are more than welcome, my friend. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest clown of them all. Let's see what he has to say. Here's a little message to Nico. If I don't get an actual date on when this fight is going down, bro, I'm going to mop the floor with your business and your YouTube channel. I need everybody in Belfast, Ireland to know that this guy's a waste of time, pussy ass, bullshit artist, coward, bro. A bum fuck. Why are you wasting my time challenging me to this bullshit ass fight, bro? Not, 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 I got a rag on this bum pussy ass Nico Leonard, bro. The nerve, bro. I appreciate you, bro. The nerve, bro. Sitting here wasting my time. I'm gonna fuck you up, Nico, bro. I'm gonna go down to Belfast, Northern Ireland, and I'm gonna tear you to fuck apart and your whole business, bro. Wasting my time. Give the fans what they want. Give me a date. Go to the gym, knock out five rounds, and keep it moving, bitch. <laughs> He's been saying over a year he's coming to Belfast and I'm still waiting. What the f*** are you doing, Trax? By the way, he still owes me a pendant I paid for, $7,000 paid. I have been waiting for this cunt for f over a year. Trax, we've asked you to help organizing this f fight. I am training every f day. I'm ready anytime. But let me be very clear. I'm not going to fight you on the street like a f bum. I want to be paid for this shit. Of course I want to be paid for this shit, you f stupid f I want to fight you, I want to fight you in a ring, and I want to be properly paid for this shit. All joking aside, I'm absolutely getting sick of this. I'm sitting there waiting for the birth of my child, and you're posting this shit, and I get the f***ing modest comments of people. I hope your child dies. F***ing lunatics in New York. F*** you, you fat goof. <laughs> to be fair, that's quite funny. This guy is supposed to be a real estate development, investment properties, entrepreneur network, and strategic partnership venture capitalist, Canada, Mexico. Jesse R. Hilton. You're a fat goof. F your baby, come back, piece of shit. F you. <laughs> And they all have private accounts, mate. You've been able to f***ing twist this story that I'm not f***ing replying. I'm not running for anything, you f***ing bum. It's f***ing business. You don't run. No, I don't run. <laughs> I, I run for nobody. I'm not gonna f***ing fight on the street. It's pure business. And if you want to talk business, let's do f***ing business. By the way, where the f*** is my pendant, you piece of shit? Stick that up your hole. Let's fight. Let's organize this properly. And you make an effort as well. Make sure that it's done in the ring properly. You know what has to be done. Make it happen. Come to Belfast. Where are you then, mate? I've been waiting for you for over a year. I'm a sales professional. I sell watches for a living. I am an entrepreneur. I have a watch business. Why do you make me dress up like Ron Jeremy? To be fair, I like riding. Like, I mean, what can I say? You know what? I could actually get used to this a wee bit, you know? How, how the f*** can they ever take me serious looking like this? I look like a f***ing clown. Can I take this off, please? You take the hat off. Mate, I'm looking like a f***ing Coin. Keep that. No. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm a serious watch guy, watch collector. Morgan Wallen. We're going to the Wallen. For my Dutch friends, you know what that means. Just leave that in because Dutch people knows that. Know that. The Wallen is the district in Amsterdam that is commonly known in the English language as the red light district. There you go. Lovely f***ing day day, the whore. F*** me, that is the daddy. That is daddy sh love. Take the f*** 
Wig off! F off! You look like a new man now. Exactly! I'm a serious f watch guy, and these guys need to not look at me like a f clown. Because they're gonna what? They're gonna see this. I'm a serious guy, yeah? Johnny, what the f is Barbie if this is Oppenheimer? What the actual f is this? You know Barbie? Yeah, of course. A f hot doll that everyone wanted to ride when they were kids. In the Netherlands, you had, as you're, you, when you're a man, you had action man, and when you're a woman, you had Barbies, and you were always trying to buck each other, basically. Uh, uh, but Barbie right, versus Oppenheimer, it feels like like some sex f***ing mad TV. What is this? You know Oppenheimer? No, I don't know what Oppenheimer you know, is. It sounds f***ing German, anyway. You know what the cinema is? Yes, I know what the cinema is. You know this new Barbie movie? So, uh, we're reacting to a yeah. movie. So, why is this a versus Oppenheimer, then? It's being classed as the best double bill in history. Oh. Okay. Can you please ID my great uncle's what? <laughs> oh, that is not. This is why I say you guys are f***ing insane. I do not believe that this watch actually exists, but I find this absolutely f***ing hilarious. This is f***ing nuts. Would you accept? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Would you accept? Of course you would. Here's a blunt. He said he'd go bold. I want my like back. <laughs> you did say that. Honestly, guys. 120k likes now. That's insane. We started that. Well, yeah, obviously. Because <laughs> you promised them to go bold. <laughs> no. I will go bold, right? But I need to find a new excuse. So my first okay. excuse was I don't want to go bold. My second excuse was I don't want to look bold on baby photos when my new child is born because these photos will stay with me for a lifetime. And my third excuse excuse is gonna be I want to lose weight first and I'm doing boxing anyway which means that when I lose weight I will shave my head I make a promise I deliver well, give me some time right to get my affairs in order I don't know why everyone loves Gazio so much and at this point I'm too afraid to ask <laughs> You know why everyone loves uh, loves Casio? Because Casio's got here. Let me tell you why Casio's got here. Got here works in every part of life. Casio is worn by people that are poor, but also people who are rich. It's worn by presidents. It's worn by terrorists. It can be worn in every walks of life. A Casio always looks got here. My niece has recently gotten into watches because of me, and she wanted a Star Wars watch. So of course I got her one. I went ahead and picked up one for myself. What do you think? No offense, mate, but that looks absolutely dog shit. Honestly, that looks absolutely dog shit. No offense, though. No offense. I like your niece, or maybe I don't. But that watch looks absolutely horrendous. Just got my first ever watch today. What do you all think? Luckily, your first is usually always a mistake, but this is a big f mistake, mate. What the f are you doing? Right, what's going on here, son? What are they talking French? You blocked that. What, man? My man doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. The only brand where this is acceptable for is, of, of course, Hublot, because, yeah, that's for people with more money than cents. So, yeah, and then you're a prick. And now the moment you've been waiting for, what? look at the title. Listen. What does the title say? I don't know what the title says, but it's probably going to be fake negotiation or tracks. Let's see what they have to say, because it's every f time the same. Honestly, I'm sick of these all right, Nico, what the f did you do this time? What are you doing? What's the disturbance? You know what the disturbance is? People like to talk. Right. Look at this combination of Borat, Adam Sandler, and Oscar from Shark Tale. What is this group together doing? We don't talk shit about anybody. You know right. me. We're in New York. We don't play that Pennsylvania shit. Right. Okay, where we like, you know, try to get clout from other people by sure. tagging them. First of all, what is your problem with Pennsylvania? And second of all, what's the relevance? <laughs> Except. Try to get clout from other people by tagging them. I didn't tag you guys. I reacted to a video that some of these guys had. Look carefully. I want to look at you carefully. It works. Huh? What? It works. Look at it carefully. It works. I've never had a conversation with a watch leader like that. Look, it works. 67 is where I could be. All right, 67. 67 is good? Yeah, yeah. A dealer to dealer that drops a price from nine high nines to six, seven. I have never come across a dealer or a deal like this in my life. That is 100% staged. I never tagged you guys. So why the f are you tagging me? We don't need your clout some. These guys are nobody. Except Trax. Trax actually achieved something in his life. To be fair, the old lad as well, John Buckley. But the rest, they're absolute f 
Nobody. So what did Nico say? Say that we do fake negotiations? No disrespect for your mouth, but this negotiation was staged. All I'm doing is saying the truth. Everyone knows that these negotiations are fake. We were at IWJG, and remember, Johnny, you were standing next to me for f sake. We were standing there, someone was doing a deal about, about a Submariner. Done a deal, bought the watch, but then said, oh, uh. can we do this negotiation on camera? And just repeated it. But not exactly the same because it ended up at a different price. So don't believe this bullshit. They're pretending bollocks. I'm not disrespecting you. Funny enough, in this video, I'm saying no disrespect because I actually like what you're doing, but the fake negotiation part is no need. There's no need to be fake. You can just be real. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm giving you props. No disrespect for your man because he's hustling very well and making great content with it. Now you come at me? In the beginning, you done real negotiations. Where's the time that you done real sh You're going into tracks to make a video about me? The three of you. What's wrong with you? One thing I do want to say is because you want this cloud because you want to sell your stupid groups. Your stupid groups to people that want to start making money with your f stupid sh I know it's all a sales game because it's not about watches anymore for you guys. It's not about selling watches anymore. It's about getting members on your stupid f dealer group that doesn't work anyway. These WhatsApp group lads are for free everywhere. Why would you pay for that sh and that just blows my mind. Maybe he should get out from behind the YouTube camera and actually come and do a negotiation. Right. Bro, I was in New York last week in the district doing real deals. You guys were nowhere to be seen. And the funny bit is, I was speaking with a few of your colleagues and they were all sick of your fake negotiations bar the same people that you constantly see on the camera. Everyone else is sick of your shit. This fake bullshit is not real. This is not the real industry, son. He's a front artist, he's a stunt artist, he's a walrus, we already know that. But it's a shame. You guys are doing fantastic business. I guess that's I, why. I'd say you'd know a hell of a lot more about watches than he does. Trax, honestly, mate, I can't even be arsed replying to this anymore. I've given you every bit of clout you wanted. I literally live rent-free in your head, son. Stop being a f this, however, is my first ever new supercar, my first ever new Ferrari. Something that I chose to absolute perfection. Every detail, and I would actually say and argue that this is the perfect car. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Shit, man. Nah, it's shit. <laughs> we need to give her a name, though. The super fast was called the Dark Horse. And because this is black and yellow, I thought this would be appropriate. Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa. Black and yellow. Wiz. Wiz Khalifa. You're spending too much time on the sites. <laughs> Proper V12. I have the spec list here, and I'm gonna go through most of the specs with you guys. There's literally a ton of ads on this. It's two pages long. It's nearly half the price of the car. So the basic, including VAT, just the car, just the shell, the actual price of the car is 296,784 points. So that's like nothing. That's, added. Then that is nothing added. You know how much I added on specs, what? right? In total. <laughs> <laughs> Pounds and 60p. Just on add ons? Just on add ons. <laughs> That's insane. Go! Hey, shade hop! <laughs> Today I'm reacting to Iman Gatsi's watch collection. He titled it my insane three million dollar watch collection. Now, we're gonna see about that because I don't think that that is completely accurate. Let's get stuck uh. in the video. What watch would you say you wear the least? I guess in the half of the collection that I have here today, probably this rose gold Daytona with black dial. You don't like it, but you did buy it. It's an expensive watch, you know. It's like 40 grand or something, or 50 grand even. I've got quite a few white gold Daytonas there in the rest of my collection in the other box that doesn't get as much wrist time. And you'll notice that there's still quite a few scratches on here. And that's because any watches that I personally don't wear that much, I give to my friends to wear. So this has gotten a lot of wrist time on my friends' wrists, but for me personally, I'm just not a massive fan of rose gold and white gold Daytonas. Like the funny bit is he's, he doesn't like white gold, but I think white gold is the most beautiful gold in the world. I mean, white gold is called white gold, but it should actually be called gray gold. Platinum is significantly more white than white gold is. I think it's a beautiful understated gold and it's not a flashy watch. And that's what I really, really love. But if you go into a club and a girl sees a watch, ah, this is a steel stainless steel watch right and then like i mean you see a watch guy knows what it is basically subtle flex if you know what i mean i like that to all your bros to all your bros because every c honestly mate every c that thinks you can pick up girls with watches i've tried for many years and i failed uh, he's listen he's a he's a good looking c 
Look at him. He doesn't have to wear a watch to get his cock sock, basically. Right? Fact. I actually need to make an effort and pay someone money. But that's a different story. You know, I, like, we met we met a few times in Dubai. He's a brilliant guy, mate. He's a good c you know? I literally met him twice for like 15 minutes. Nah, no, that's not true. He took me out for dinner once. The second time I met him, he was coming down to meet me and some friends, right? Just to hang out. But I forgot to <laughs> to give the details, his details to the security guy. So at the Palm, when you have a house there, basically every fond, every street has a security guard in the front in the beginning, right? But I forgot to give his details in, so he wasn't allowed in. He made up some bullshit excuse, got across the barrier and just went full throttle. Met me at the house. About 15 minutes later, the security guards came in, knocked at the door. Yeah, yeah, there's guests there. So I'm like, yeah, there's guests there. They did. You know who I am? Do you know who I think I am? I know they were just doing their work, their job, but it's bloody annoying. Like in here, I have one more. I actually wish I'd put less Daytonas in this box. I wish I'd taken some of my other watches. Uh, I have one more Daytona, white gold blue dial. Listen, you can never have enough. Daytona's mate, f up. Beautiful watch, classic watch, timeless watch. Because it's white gold, wow, this has a lot of scuffs. I think this has been with my friends far more than me. So whoever abused this watch, wow. I didn't realize until now. It's definitely very scuffed up, but at least my friends got some good enjoyment out of it. <laughs> I genuinely wonder if he says the same thing about his women, right? I've never really seen him with a woman, really. He's a gentleman. He is a gentleman, keeps them off camera, or he's gay. Could be as <laughs> hell. I mean, nah, he's not gay. Yeah, and if he was, it's fine, man. Gays are cool, mate. I got loads of gay encounters. Like, it's fantastic. So, anyways, as I was saying, the thing I love about this is just this uh, easy uh, link system with the bracelet. So, that's what he really loves about that watch, right? That easy link system that every f watch and his dog have. It's one of the most beautiful blue dials ever created. You might off the strap here with me but you can put like a navy strap on a navy strap to match the dial i think without a doubt <laughs> any brand this has the most beautiful <laughs> thumbburst effect yeah honestly incredible incredible dial yeah fantastic <laughs> this is a serious watch video for Sake. If I walk in a room with a Risha meal, I feel like I am the daddy. I am watch Jesus. I am watch Allah. I take myself way too serious when I wear a Risha meal. I become an arrogant prick. So just going back to complications, this is a white gold Nautilus 5740. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be Nico Leonard and know all the numbers. I am the daddy. And all the different references. I am a collector. I'm not an expert. So yeah, he knows the bloody reference number of that you know but i hope so jesus christ can you imagine spending 150 grand you don't even know her name if you've got more than enough money coming in each month feel free to skip this ad if not i f hate this piece of shit. nico mvmt conspiracy what the f is this what is this this is alpha m's response to your video alpha m Another cloud chaser. To be fair, this is kind of embarrassing, isn't it? 6.7 million subscribers and a video with 50,000 views. <laughs> and no offense, Alpha, but uh, yeah, that's quite embarrassing. I'm not a, like a conspiracy theorist or anything, but the fact that he purposely, I felt, did not talk about movement in the video responding to my collection, but he really focused on like Vincero being like a cheap drop shipping watch, but he didn't really go into movement at all. I just want to prove a point here. Give me a hammer. This is a, this is your watch, right, Gareth? How long do you have it? A week and the strap is already broken, yeah? Didn't last long. Didn't last long, that's the quality of movement, right? You see this? That's fucking move. That's fucking movement, right? So just to say, do I have anything to do with movement? No. I don't have anything to do with movement. I'm just spitting facts. Movement was what Fancero is. Drop shipping bullshit. What are testing my PRX? What the f is that for monster? That's a fing midget crocodile, you know. That is nuts. His name is Gaza Sound. Nice necklace though. I think he's wearing a Rolex Submariner. That's class. And he has a PRX clearly and a crocodile. These fing things bite the balls off you. We've got no, luckily we don't. Can you imagine being in Australia with these fucking big, huge ass fucking tarantulas? What's the wildest animal you would hit a watch on? My missus. <laughs> and I see a really scary face on my screen here on the left, and I'm very much distracted. It actually scares me a wee bit, you know? This guy actually gives me f. Ugh.
Right. This gentleman. I heard of him. I've seen a few things of him, which I actually think he got divorced with his wife or something, or something happened. And then he turned out to be acting like he's a billionaire when he's not. Like the watch he's wearing is fake. So that's fake as f This man is broken. Everything he's wearing is fake. It's all fake. It's worthless. It comes from... China. Please seek help. Did I do that nice enough, you think? Jordan Belfort is the biggest pile of I've ever seen in my life. Hey, you just got to Miami in the hotel rooms. Niggas tell you that they like Oh, you don't touch someone's watch, you mock. That's identical by going out to a man and touching their balls. You don't do that. I actually think he's wearing a, if I'm correct, he's wearing a Richard Mille RM2704. I think, I can't see it very well, but that combination. The Rafael Nadal. That's the Rafael Nadal, which is worth about 2.5 million. Or the iconic Rolex Daytona rainbow. None of them. Absolutely not. I support Pride. I don't want a rainbow watch. Cough. Gucci, Armani, etc. Any watch with a trendy name and... Michael Kors sh And I remember, this is many years ago, I bought a Michael Kors watch for my that time girlfriend. She really wanted this Michael Kors watch, right? And I bought her that on a cruise ship. Why do you think I dumped her in the end? Michael Kors, mate, f off. So I called my bank and- Aw, oh, mate. Aw, oh, mate! This guy is delusional. I have seen this video and it angers me on a level that you have no idea about. So I called my bank and when I called them, I asked for a quarter million dollars. Now for me, a quarter million dollars is not much money. As you guys could understand, a quarter million dollars is not much money. When I called the bank- Suck my dick, you piece of shit. Bank and said, hey, I'd like to pick up a quarter million dollars because I need it for my podcast. I want to show a little bit of money. They said to me, well, we're probably going to need for anything over $20,000 to make an order, which will take about three and a half to four weeks to arrive. And then we're going to need an armed guard that's going to meet you, walk you to your car, and make sure that you drive away with the money. So then I said, look, I need just a quarter million dollars and it's not that much money. And the bank pretty much told me, Ben, it might not be a lot of money for you, but it's a lot of money. But if that is not a lot of money, why is he wearing a fake Richard Mille then? Why don't you use that real money that you supposedly have to buy a real watch? Fake money, fake watch, fake guy, fake bullshit, fake influencer, fake. I'm done with this bullshit. This is what, what's wrong with the world, people like that.